All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, and they're out of both Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina, and this is their liquid hoppiness IPA. So they are calling this one a juicy IPA that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, 55 IBUs at the time of review, and this can is exactly three weeks old. And I'm super excited to be reviewing this one for a couple different reasons, but the main one is it's a fresh Sierra Nevada beer, uh, and that's rare here in the Buffalo, New York area. When we get some of their newer releases, they typically show up four to six weeks old, sometimes even older than that. And a lot of their you know OG classic beers like Pal Al and Torpedo, very hard to, very hard to find those fresh. So when this showed up and it was like two and a half weeks old, I was like, I'm gonna review it, and uh, here we are. So I'm um, really excited about this one just because of the freshness, but also they're calling it a juicy IPA. They're not saying hazy, they're not saying North, uh, East style. They're not saying New England style. They're just saying juicy IPA. Now this is brewed with a Zaka, Cascade, Centennial, and Sultana hops according to their website. And yeah, let's get into it. A fresh year and I've had a beer. What a novel concept. I'm here for it. Anyway, let's pour it into the Tiku or Teku, depending on how you prefer to say it. And I will spill beer every... I, I don't know if I'm just in old age getting worse at pouring, which is a very real possibility, or... Uh, something's up with these cans nowadays because, man, that one just went everywhere. But paper towels to the rescue. Shout out to uh, Ridge over at Ridgeopolis. He's like, man, you know, you should you should get some paper towels, Joe, and have them by standby because, you know, you never know when you're going to uh, mess up. I'm just pushing this everywhere. Maybe you're going to mess up a uh, review. And I'm like, I mess up every review, Ridge. So, yeah, I hear you, but do I need them? The answer is yes, I do. I totally need them because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Anyway... That's a beautiful looking, uh, hazy, juicy beer. Throw this off camera. Look at that. Now, in ca on camera, it's going to look different than in person. In person, especially if you hold it up to the lights, it has this basically sunshine, like orange color. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Very murky, turbid. About a two finger of a soap sudsy looking head. Uh, it's pretty much bright white. But on, on camera, it's probably going to be dulled up. I'm telling you, in person, this looks beautiful. It looks like sunshine in a glass. Let's get a nose. Ooh. That's actually nice. So I'm getting like sweet, juicy, sticky fruits like citrus, orange, excuse me, like a, um, like a mandarin orange. There's a ruby red grapefruit, a little bit of lemon, definitely citrus heavy. Now I'm getting like a nondescript red berry. I say that a lot when there's certain hops in there like, uh, I don't know, um, mosaic or strata. I don't know what hop would be giving me that. Maybe a Zaka, maybe the Sultana. The Sultana, I'm you know, not super familiar with. I've only had some beers, maybe like a, a dozen with that hop in it. And I can't specifically say what I typically get from that hop. But yeah, it's like almost like a, like a red raspberry. Maybe like a sweet cherry. I'm trying to think of the hop that I had a couple times uh, earlier this year and I think late last year that produced a talus. I think talus, I got like a, I don't know what it is, but I get like a, a sweet cherry vibe to that one. And uh, I'm kind of getting that here, but I think it's more berry. Yeah, so citrus heavy, orange, grapefruit, lemon, a little bit of a red raspberry, a touch of a cherry and maybe like a pineapple. A little bit of a like dank floral kind of uh, essence as well. Yeah. Smells really good. It does smell like it's going to be a juicy IPA, so let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Very solid beer. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's juicy, but it's not overly so. It's fruity, but again, doesn't punch you in the face with it. I think it's... um. It's very well balanced from, from everything. Like Right up front, you get that juiciness the fruity component, and then the back of the palate, it kind of has this like floral herbaceous kind of slightly dank finish. Anyway, let's go body and mouthfeel real quick. Body on this one, straight medium, maybe a touch over, perfect for 7%. The mouthfeel, it's a little bit more spritzy on the palate, a little bit more uh, carbonation, maybe like moderate carbonation. It's relatively smooth going down and on the palate in general, but yeah, it does have, have some spritzy carbonation. Um, again, they're not calling this a hazy IPA. They're not calling this a New England style IPA. So I'm all right. The mouthfeel and the body is really nice. So the taste, again, this is, and this is the first beer I'm reviewing uh, for the month of August 2022 as a shelfie beer. And I'm telling you, this is a great shelfie IPA. Like most of you are going to see this, especially if you get Sierra Nevada, which pretty much everyone does. And for the price point, for the ease of access, I'm telling you right now, this is a solid beer. It's not anything amazing to me, but it's damn solid. 
right at the forefront, tons of citrus, sweeter, uh, we'll say a ruby red grapefruit or like a pink grapefruit, sweeter. There's a sweet orange sensation, almost like a like more of a blood orange. I'm getting taste like more of a sweet blood orange. And then there's a little bit of like a lemon zest all at the forefront, right? It's mostly juicy and fruity from the citrus, like a, like a, like a juice component, but there is like a zesty, rindy kind of citrus component as well. Passes through the palate, uh, touch of pineapple, a little bit of that red raspberry. I'm not getting that, that sweet cherry I was getting in the nose, more like slight red raspberry and a little bit of pineapple. And then the second half of the palate, this finishes pretty dry, uh, mild to moderately bitter, approaching like a moderate bitterness. And it has, again, a floral kind of herbaceous kind. Of, it's not really dank. It's more like a floral, herbaceous, slightly resinous pine uh, type of uh, finish. 7%. I can tell 7% just because of the intensity of the flavors and the body and whatnot. But you can't really taste the alcohol. Maybe a slight little warming in the chest, but nothing much. It's solid. Is this going to blow anybody away nowadays? No. And that's, I think Sierra Nevada knows that. And you throw something out here like this. A, a unique, we'll say, hop blend, uh, hop combination, um, reasonably priced. You can get it everywhere. And this is, this is a good, shelfy, juicy IPA, we'll just say. Not much more to say about it, honestly. It's um, pretty solid. I'm going to drink the rest of that. There's not a whole lot left, but I'm going to drink the rest of that. Enjoy every sip. And like I said, I can't go too high on this. It's not like amazing. It's not setting a new standard. But for a shelfy uh, IPA, 7%, juicy, sure. So Sierra Nevada... Their um, liquid hoppiness IPA, they're calling it a juicy IPA. I'm going to give that a low 4 out of 5, a low 3.9 out of 5. I think that's a fair score. Uh, can't go much higher just because, again, nothing all that you know mind-blowing or anything, but it's really damn solid, and sometimes you need beers like this. And why? Because price and availability. Price point on this one in my neck of the woods was $10.99 a six-pack, less than 2 bucks a can, and availability. Again, if you see Sierra Nevada, you should see this. By the time this video is out, this beer will probably be about three and a half, almost four uh, weeks old. But I'll tell you right now, based on Untapped, I had one friend check this in, uh, Brandon Garrett. He is a uh, viewer of the channel, a longtime viewer of the channel, although I haven't seen him in the uh, comment section uh, all that um, much lately. He uh, was actually at the Mills River, North Carolina location, and he had this on tap, and I think he gave it a 3.5, 3.75, somewhere like that. Um, but that's the only friend that checked this one in. I think this only had like but again, I had like 120 or 150 check-ins, which is rare for like a you know, huge brewery like Sierra Nevada, a new release having that amount of check-ins. So I don't know. I enjoy this one. If you've had this one before, let me know. Post in the comment section. If you plan on grabbing this one or you drink along with my review, let me know. I think, again, it's a solid, juicy IPA. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's quality. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.